Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at the general approach of how to solve rate problems. Rate problems are used when we have multiple people working on the same job or you have multiple inlet pipes and outlet pipes working at the same time, things like that. And each of them works at a different rate. For example, two people working on the same job, one person can do the job in 10 hours, the other person can do the job in 12 hours if they work by themselves. But together, how long will it take to do the job together? Assuming, of course, they don't get in each other's way and slow each other down. So the general approach is as follows. We either have all the people working for the same amount of time, or we have each contributor working for a different amount of time. If it's for the same amount of time, the equation is the rate of the first person times the time worked plus the rate of the second person times the time worked equal the whole job done. And then we simply have to determine what the rate of each person is. Or, if each contributor works a different amount of time, then it's the rate of the first person times how long they work, plus the rate of the second person times how long they work, equals the whole job done. So, how do we calculate the rate again? Well, the rate is calculated, for example, if person 1 can complete a job by him or herself in a total of 20 hours, then the rate is 1 20th of the job done each hour. And so that's how we then calculate the rate of each person, we then plug that into the equation. Either they work, either they each work a separate amount of time or they work the same amount of time and we set that equal to the whole job done and then we solve for the time that it takes for all of them to do the job together. That's typically the approach. We'll show you some examples of that, but in the meanwhile, we'll go ahead and show you the general way of solving these types of problems. And that is how it's done.